Okay with that by now. A ruling state is one whose rule cannot be rivaled or challenged. That's a ruling state. You don't have to rule every single square inch of KLCC. <laughs> no. Once you have a rule in the world which cannot be challenged, cannot be rivaled. This was the kind of, pro of state that Suleiman alayhi salam ruled over, the holy state of Israel. And that was the golden age, Zaman Mas. Zaman Mas. And when the Messiah comes, that golden age will come back one more time. But when Allah sent the Messiah, they rejected him. Some of them believed him. Why did they reject him? Because they said, وَنَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنْ He's a bastard. Because his mother was not married when she gave birth. And a bastard cannot be the Messiah. <coughs> and then he could not have been the Messiah because he's dead. Before our very eyes we saw him die on the cross, crucified. He never ruled over. So now it is beyond the shadow of a doubt. He could not have been the Messiah. What they did not know, and what no one knew, not even the government of Malaysia, no one knew, was that no, he did not die. No, he was not crucified. But Allah made it appear like that. What happened? I hope we can discuss that in a lecture to be scheduled on an Islamic view of the return of Jesus alayhi salam. I hope we can do that, inshallah. So we can take up that subject in detail. But Allah raised him. So he never experienced something called mouth. Mouth. And so one day he'll come back to the dark because Every soul must be smart. But they didn't know that. So they're waiting for the Messiah to come. I lived for 10 years in New York. You can't be in New York and not know that. That the Jews are waiting for the Messiah to come. So Allah created this being. And Allah programmed this being to impersonate the Messiah and gave to him Dajjal, gave to him powers of deception. He can deceive you in anything connected with him. Appearance and reality are opposite from each other. His mission is to rule the world. And when he rules the world with a rule which cannot be rival, which cannot be challenged, then he will declare, I am the Messiah. And then he can rub his hands and say, mission accomplished. But that's a tall order to rule the whole world. How are you going to do that? You must come with a very, very, very good strategy if you are to rule the world. The Muslims are not going to accept you. No, maybe the part-time Muslims, but not the real Muslims. So how are you going to get them to accept you as the Messiah? Not all the Jews are going to accept you because there are Jews who are Orthodox Jews. So in order to rule the world, you are going to have to impose a political dictatorship upon all of mankind. Well, I have news for you. 
that political dictatorship is almost here. You have to have a world government ruling over the whole world. So forget about state sovereignty. When Dajjal says stand up, the government has to stand. And Dajjal says sit down, the government has to sit. You don't have freedom anymore. In 1991, the Security Council of the United Nations had to vote on a resolution permitting the use of force against Iraq, 91. Cuba was a member of the Security Council. Yemen was a member. China, of course, was a permanent member. Malaysia was a member. And when the resolution came for a vote, Malaysia voted in favor. Although every single Muslim in Malaysia opposed it. Every single one opposed it. Nobody supported it. But the government of Malaysia voted in favor. Yemen voted against or abstained. Cuba voted against. China voted against. But the Muslim state voted in favor. Your Prime Minister at that time was Dr. Mahathir. And he explained. He said, if we had not done that, they would have destroyed our economy. That was his explanation. So state sovereignty? That was something for the birds. They <laughs> no longer exist. You now have world government. And that world government is taking, to, taking you towards a universal political dictatorship. In order for him to rule the world, you must have, you must impose a, a universal economic dictatorship upon man. We are already there. We are already there. But the jar is almost at the conclusion of his mission. It will not be long again before the state of Israel. You know, 15 years ago they used to laugh at me and scoff at me when I said to them that they want Israel to rule the world. Imran, what nonsense are you talking? How can few million people, few million Jews in Israel rule the whole world? Huh? Shame on you. They're not laughing anymore now. No. They're swallowing all the laughter they don't. Israel has to rule the world. And when Israel rules the world, then the Jal can appear as the ruler of Israel, ruling the world from Jerusalem and declare, I am the Messiah. We are not going to discuss his political weapon tonight. That is the shirk, which is at the very heart of the political state, the new secular state system of the world. Except to say that there is a hadith in the Musnad of Imam Ahmad, in which the Prophet was on war about his shirk with which he attacked this Ummah. The Prophet said that the, the shirk of this Ummah would be more difficult to recognize than a black ant on a black stone fi zulumati laid in the darkness of the night. And so if most of mankind, particularly those who are professors of political science in the universities, if most of mankind cannot recognize the shirk in the political system, don't blame them. But that's no excuse for them. The one sin 